We haven't had an earthquake in the Pacific Northwest of any appreciable size in Oregon for over 300 years. We're looking for the signature of those past earthquakes, which is difficult given that the surface of the earth is covered by so many trees. We call it the hunt for Cascadia's last earthquakes. My name is Josh Roaring. I'm a professor in the Department of Earth Sciences. My specialty is geomorphology, and that's the study of landscapes and how they evolve due to tectonic forces, climate, humans, anything that affects the surface of the Earth. During modern earthquakes, we see landslides happen, we see liquefaction happening, we see ground shaking that takes uh, structures off of their foundations. Our hunt for finding landslides is a way to back analyze how intense the shaking was at particular locations. So if we can say that landslides happened at the coast or in the coast range or in the Willamette Valley or even the Cascades, that would be a really important piece of information to help us understand how these last earthquakes have behaved on land where we are. If you think about a mountain or a potential landslide as a block, most of the mountain you can think of as just a series of these blocks sitting on top of one another. And you can make them slide. In other words, you can make a landslide if you make them wet. But another way is to shake the surface and apply an acceleration. So that's what happens during earthquakes. That block literally gets jostled from its position when the earthquakes happen. And if that jostling and acceleration is sufficient to destabilize at the base, you generate a landslide. LIDAR is a fancy pants science word for light detection and ranging. So it's any laser that you can shoot to figure out how far you are from some other feature. It is used for a whole variety of purposes, and so we've been using it to look at the landscape in Cascadia. And the result of all this is that we know the details of the land surface to within inches. LIDAR is, is becoming a little bit old school to some people just because it's been around for two decades now. And there's new imaging techniques that are taking air photos and generating the same type of really detailed models of the Earth's surface. And that's been wonderful if you have no trees. So the thing that's absolutely required for the Pacific Northwest is the ability to cut through the trees and the foliage. And laser pulses can do that, and pictures can't. There was a lot of suggestion early on that LIDAR would supplant field work. <laughs> These old curmudgeon geologists would pound their fists on the table and say, no one's going to go in the field anymore. They can do this all from their desktop. It's going to ruin geology. And I think it, just the opposite is happening. It's made us better field geologists by helping us go with sharp minds and hypotheses and expectations and then test those in the field and have a better under, understanding of the landscape as a result of that. It is curious that so far we've been trying to find the most likely landslides that could have resulted from an earthquake, and we have yet to find one that was associated with 1700. We're just starting off on this endeavor, so I don't want to predetermine our outcome too much at this point. The, the uh, reality of a null result is, is just you know, the seed for the next, the next set of discoveries.